And hello, welcome back to part two of the my first ever guest on Car O'Reilly. So you've been telling me you've been getting into Top Boy now, so tell me how do you think of it? Like what do you think of the show? Top Boy is actually quality, like it's not as much as I expected because I thought it was gonna be uh like stereotypical kind of it. Yeah, obviously length. it's been out a while, I'm pretty behind and all. I thought it was just gonna be one of those kind of crazes again, it's like, Oh yeah, this is deadly need to watch it and then when I watch it it's it's not to make expectations. Yeah. But like it's unreal. Like I messed up. I think like a few people did it. And it was, it was, uh I started off on Top Boy, starting a new one. Summer House. The Summer House, because Summer House sounds like the sequel. It just might be like a Summer House was the first one, and then, yeah, yeah, yeah. So you thought oh, that sounds yeah. like a sequel. Like you know, sequel, like I was yeah. thinking like American Pie, like you know the Beta yeah. House. So I yeah. thought it was gonna be like that kind of <laughs> shit. So um, yeah, I watched first two and I asked one of the boys, and they were like, "No, no, you should go back now." So I watched it, and both like they're both got like you can see. From you finished two of them, have you? I finished season one. I'm on the last episode of season two. Oh. I've seen the first two episodes on season three. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. And things getting heavy in season yeah, two. Yeah, it's heavy, like, so it is. I kind of know like where the boys end up in the yeah. start, uh, start of season three. No, it's just a bit cat, but uh, still, I'm still like mad on... like. On the ending's really, season. really good, the yeah. new one. You should... On the new one, yeah. The new one's on the new ending's really yeah. good. New one's out again this season. This season. New seasons out this year as well. Is saying. it? Yeah. No way. Yeah. Thank God. It needs it. to be finished though as well. Like it's a yeah. sword. It needs to be finished. Mad that Drake took over that. Like such yeah. A big popularity in America and Canada. Like the takeover an English show. Like if all yeah. like that's English. Just, like, that's just because he wants to be English. Like, that, that, that's all. It is, but <laughs> sure, he put out a song there exactly. about this and this and people called war. A this heady one in it. Didn't yeah, he? I didn't war, listen to it. Next it's not a bad choice. Yeah. It's fun though the way like he's doing like. <laughs> the gang kind of thing with all the stuff but they're all driving skis and like going on like ski jets and all it's kind yeah. of weird like yeah that's probably what kind of the Canadian gangsters do they're on their skis on their ski jets and all going around <laughs> causing havoc like load of the bannies on going in like with the ski like uh, it's mad, like a James like, Bond film like yeah <laughs> <laughs> and uh but it's weird though that's such a thing like from him being such a popularity even everyone knows from the basketball yeah. as well he's just he has well, he's endorsements like he's used his endorse. brand like he that's his brand spreading out like yeah. Yeah. Uh, he was even in the writers' room and everything. Like he really yeah. got in stuck That's in with it. That even makes it even better. Like yeah, like all them young boys seeing Drake. It's like oh my god, we've been listening to him since like because that's oh, kind yeah, of their heroes now, isn't it? Like yeah, but like, at the same time, it's like he just takes step back and say like it's you're not from there. It's like I'm not gonna pretend I'm like from Toronto. I'm not gonna no. like rap like I'm <laughs> from New York. Rap on about the Bronx and stuff. Yeah. Like it's just kind of weird though the way he's yeah. doing that grime shit. But like, should you see Stormzy and Wiley? Huh? They're having some beef apparently, Stormzy and Wiley. But yeah. like, I'm just thinking, is Wiley not like in his forties? Wiley's and still got like, though. Wiley is still. Like, why do you still need the beef? You already know you're like yeah. the Godfather kind of grime. He kind of yeah. brought it up in the way. Oh, and then, Wiley's a god. Like. Now Stormzy, apparently, people are saying he's not even grime anymore. It's more into pop. But, like, it's it's kind of that thing. Like it's just shut up. Like kind of well, it's just a, a mess. But at the same time, yeah. it's kind of in that genre. But it's kind of just like. Like, you have it with everyone, it's like, you're going to have, like, the start of everything, like, like with punk or that, you're going to have, like, it's underground stuff, like, Black Flag and all that yeah. kind. And then there's going to be, like, a green day or a Blink-182 spreads out, and then they make it more popular. Yeah. Like, it always happens. So it's kind of like Storms, he's that new green day or Blink, like. It's yeah, he's kind of like, he's kind of like a, it's like a mix of grime, but, like, I think more of the yeah. grime is kind of going away a little bit yeah, but I think it's just it's kind of like industry plan as well it's like right we can make money off this stuff yeah if he changes so, his style and the yeah. way it goes on like yeah he's going to make more money because yeah. more in radios and clubs and stuff like that yeah. so more people are going to listen to him um, <clears throat> and how do you feel like the way rap is now like a lot of people say like like the squeaking rappers mumble rappers like I like the way I see it is it's like it's a sub genre like it's like you have it's not it's very it's, hype it's like a lot of hype yeah it's like saying like that all rock music sounds the same like nah not really no it, it kind of it, like it's kind of gone to that stage where like hip hop's around mm. like since the 80s now so it's going to spread out just kind of different stuff so it's like it's like comparing like Metallica to Coldplay mm. like if you're going on a bit more rappers compared them to Tupac that's the way I you see it you can't really compare them like I no, realise now because like, it's so much di- yeah. different generations now between from when I was listening mm. to it, it was all that. But, yeah. like, things go on. Like, people even underneath me or underneath you could be, yeah. like, Drake and all them, and then they're their heroes, and you're like, mm. nah, he wasn't, this yeah. is my hero, like... Yeah, but, like, even, like, the likes of Little Pump, he's not going to say, I'm the best rapper out there, and if he no. did, fair fucks to him. And then... But, like... Yeah, but, like, they do the whole... He's getting his money. Yeah, like... 
Well, I learned about like Fortnite. It's all colourful and glamour, mm. and like all the kids love it. Like you see a kid with loaded diamond tea, colourful hair. Like you're going to be like, mm. oh look at him, he looks so cool and all. Yeah. And that's another. You're getting the kids now in, and your music doesn't even have to do anything. I mean, when I started, like my mates would bring it up, and we're kind of just laughing. I was like, man, how do you listen to that? How do you listen to that? And then there's just like one or two songs that's got kind of a little catchy. Like I remember Little Uzi Bird is like with the purple dreads and everything, and he's like five foot five and just looks like such a gobshite. <laughs> and I was like, I love this lad. He's like, he's a god. I love him. He's just, he was so corny, and then yeah. it's like, oh no, it's actually pretty catchy. And it just catches on, catches on. Yeah. But like, I think mainly with those as well, with th- those kind of rappers, it's kind of gone back to the 80s where it's not really about the raps, it's more about the production. Yeah, like the, like the video and how good the yeah. video is and how you sound and stuff like that. Yeah. But like, um, so you look at it. Always, you know, you're using your voice more like an instrument. Like, yeah. it's not about like what you're saying too much. Like. Yeah. Uh, I look at it like, when I was younger looking at rap, like, they'd all wear like, they're all being the street videos and all. Mm. This time they're all wearing like Gucci, Louis Vuitton. Or Manny, like, and then that's why yeah. all the kids know that's the standards hit now. Yeah. If you're not wearing any kind of designer stuff mm. now, it's that's it. There's no, like, yeah. what would you say in school, like, popularity? Like, you have to be up there with all that kind of clothing. Yeah, I remember there's like, I was around some kids in the scene, like, uh, someone with like a fake Gucci bag, and they kept asking, like, is that a real Gucci bag? Is that a real Gucci bag? And it's like, when I was out there, I think they were like seven or eight, I was like, I wouldn't have a clue what Gucci was. I would have heard no. the name, I wouldn't be able to like, find, like, oh, it's the green and red yoke there. It's like, that's just like hip hop, and that's just like brand endorsements just and all. Because like, like, even like wit rappers now, it's like, they're all these thugs and all of them now. It's like Louis Vuitton are like getting this person, they're getting yeah. like ASAP Rockies with like Calvin Klein, and there's all like. They're, 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 they're like right we can make money out of this yeah. people like these kids they're like so popular and they're always yeah. going to be showing brands off everywhere they go and everything they do right. Instagram now is such a big influence on that as well you just put yeah. a picture like they go put a picture of our watch yeah and then you get to keep like 10 watches like grand yeah. you just put a photo you up and see like, it, like there's like people it, it's like they get like a certain amount of money for each post so I think it's like a million or that for like the generous to yeah. put up like well, like one Instagram post that's like I'll be pulling up thousands. That's like, it, like, and you get so much money for those endorsements like that. Um, you're telling me about what was it, killing cats? Don't fuck with cats. Don't fuck with yeah, cats. I, I what's don't, that? I, don't start with just you, you like killing cats and that. Like <laughs> <laughs> um, and yeah, what's that? Uh, what, what would make you want? Like, how would you convince me now to try and get into like the what? It's a season, is it? It's a. It's like a documentary. It's a. It's like one hour per piece, and it's like three hours. But like, and how many episodes? It's three episodes. Oh, it's three but episodes. it's one hour, one hour or three. Ah, one hour episodes, though. three that's episodes. Like, that's grand. Then. But um, yeah, like I don't think you could. I don't think you can start it without finishing it on the spot. Like I was. So once this is once you once have once you start the first episode, it proper pulls you in. Like I was kind of like right, I'm gonna right, I'm just gonna leave the house after this and all. I just stayed in. I couldn't couldn't leave. Like my mum even came in like halfway through, and she had to finish it as well because yeah. it's just it proper pulls you in. Because you think like it's gonna be one little thing. I just get so much. There's so just, much to it now. Like it's it's just mental. Like it just starts off like a video of a fella killing cats and like this lads just come back. Now. But like the way it's done, it's good because they don't show you actually happening. It shows you the video right before the build up and that, so it yeah. gives you the suspense and then it shows them talking about it and them crying about it and yeah. all. And it just shows, like, this kind of group that's, like, on a manhunt for this fella that did it. Yeah. And it just gets heavier and heavier, and there's, like, loads of layers to it. Like, he has it proper taught yeah. out. Like, he he wants, like, a manhunt. Like, he's... And what is, um... When was when did this happen? Like, how long ago was it? It was only a few years ago, um, I think it was, was it? I don't think it was too long. It could have been... Because I remember seeing I remember. this already, someone already starting all this kind of... Yeah, I, I think it was, like... It could have been like early 2010s, I can't, can't remember, I think it's like 2012 or something like yeah. that. But it's, the way it ends and all, it's like... You, and how would you give it for doing a rating if you had to rate it now out of 5? Like, like I, I, don't rate ten, it. I don't like rating 10, I think 10's a bit of a 5, I'd give it like, I'd say like a 3.5, I'd say. So a solid like, watch. It's, it is sort of like, you know, if you're just... If you want a bit of suspense and all, if you're into like your little documentaries, like your fly through it, it's, it's mad, but... There's just some stuff like I thought there's just some cringy stuff at the end because like the I seen someone point tonight and as soon as I watched it again and seen it, it was so annoying is yeah. like just the whole way they'd even just like grab the links they'd copy and paste and put another link it's like lad just click the link it's just like little stuff like that that was a bit <laughs> annoying and I think like one of the things that put me off is like the way that like it's a Facebook group trying to get 
trying to go out for them and yeah. catch the person. But at the same time, they were so like, oh, I'm like, look how great I am. Like, I'm finding this person now. Yeah. But like, at the same time, you're causing so much damage because like, this person's getting more popular because you're showing yeah. it. And it was just like, trying to break the fourth wall at the end, like trying to talk to the viewer. It's like, oh, maybe you should turn off your your computer because look what you're doing is like <laughs> mad <laughs> like like I, that was, a bit, it was kind of just like this is a bit cringe but like the rest of it like the whole investigation into it all was just it's nuts like sounds like a bunch of boomers yeah <laughs> <laughs> this movie with their cats but like just showed you how powerful, uh, powerful the internet actually really is the way oh, like it's, it's you can just go on a manhunt on anyone if you really really yeah, want like, it to go find well, someone this one even like it's you'd think like it's easy now like you can oh you, like you know someone in a Facebook group they can get the IP address and all that yeah. but this fella he had it like so well taught so out, like. try t- well that's the thing you think yeah. you do until someone else comes cool. along and ruins all your plans and that's it like there's always going to be someone yeah. smarter or more cunning than you than yeah. there is before, before that and um, does it explain like why he does it like did he actually oh like, yeah like, it goes into his Everton, mentality like. it shows like his whole thing it's that's supposed to be like a serial killer trait isn't it killing torturing animals like that's kind of yeah like, like that's how it goes away, on like. they even said that it's like it's killing animals is the start of a serial killer and it gets a lot it gets a lot more serious and all and you see the reason like why he's doing it and all and it's like man Jeez. you've way too much time in your hands <laughs> like never mind like the whole crime that was like how you put that much time is that like man read a book instead like it's <laughs> so I, it'll do cat, you a like, lot Jesus. more better like. um, but you, that's that's another talk we can talk about another time about like how people have changed now like mental health now has been mm. like when I was a kid no one ever talked about it I never got no, no one told me about depression and anxiety and all that kind of stuff it no. kind of shows like he obviously has a lot of problems in oh. going through like that's like you don't just turn around and just want to kill a load of cats like that there's, there's no, something like, broken in there that has to get like you think it's going to happen it's a to whole like, that. like it's it's a different level like the way he's on now it's, uh, it's pretty right. mad like this is a lovely achievement to have my first guest here with Mr. Carol Oli it's actually it's actually nice having a nice chat with you there, I though. hope Thank um you. we get to 100 and then champagne popping and we're celebrating it's like wow 100 and we're here again. Um, is there anything you'd like to say, Danny, before you go into in, in your life that you want to plug out there, put your plug in? Um, don't kill cats would be a good way to start. It's a good way to go. And there's a whole documentary on why that's a good idea not to kill cats. And uh, I hope in the future, though, we're going to see you headline the Tree Arena with songs and glory and I'm there and you gave me VIP tickets and I'm up in the box we'll see how nice you are to me <laughs> in the next few years yeah. we'll, we'll, we'll see, see. I, hope, I hope everything goes well with you with your music yeah. industry and stuff oh, like cheers, that. Man. Appreciate right. that. well that's the end of the podcast hope you all enjoyed it and I'll see you tomorrow <laughs>